Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about AWS S3 bucket. So I'm going to explain like what is AWS S3 bucket, why do we need it and few points to remember then I'll and at the end of the video I'll be showing a small demo how to create an S3 bucket in AWS console using AWS console. I'll be logging to my account then create a S3 bucket and upload a file and show you how to do it. So what is AWS S3 bucket? S3 simple storage service. It is a public cloud storage resource available in AWS. For example, if your company wants to store a lot of data in online and you don't want to manage the storage infrastructure, then I would say you can use AWS S3 bucket because it's like really flexible. You don't have to manage the infrastructure. It's already available. You need only the inter internet then you can push as many data as much as possible to this S3 bucket. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can use this service for storing your data. Why do we need S3 bucket? For example, if you if your business needs a lot of object storage requirement, for example, a job portal. Job portal means a lot of resumes will be posted. So how where do you store this resume? For banking, a lot of documents will be posted by the customers. So where do you store these documents? For example, a movie website, like where there are a lot of movies will be uh, stored and streamed. So where do you store this? And for example, if you have a, a web application for selling used cars, there will be a lot of pictures for for car and documents. So, so it depends on what business and what web application you have and if you have really if you really want to store objects online or somewhere then you don't if you don't want to manage the storage infrastructure like you want to pay only like you want to use the service and you pay and you don't want to manage then you can use AWS S3 bucket let me explain you few points to remember S3 bucket, it's like you can store object. It's like a flat file. Okay, so it's like a movie flat files you can store there. And then S3 packets will be uh, similar to folders. What we call in our Windows system, we have folders. We can create multiple folders, and then we can place. You can upload our files to those folders. And S3 packet, it is region based and it's highly available. So each region. You can have maximum of 100 buckets and it is highly available so one of the facility goes down then the other facility still can give you the data so there is a data duplication happens so you don't have to worry about like whether or uh, whether uh, it will be down the, i might not get my data no so it's already been taken care by aws it uh, supports data redundancy as i already told you and the allowed file sizes are zero bytes to five terabyte it's huge and unlimited storage supported please remember one more uh, small point that you you can remember is bucket name should be unique unique it should be really unique because it is like across uh, the system like the entire aws so it should be unique you should be careful about it how the payment is calculated say for example i am a company i started pushing the data to my s3 packet so how the how i have to pay now so it's based on how much data has been stored it, it, it depends on how much data you store in this in your s3 packet for that you need to pay to pay the bill and the last point is like you can also host a static website on amazon S3 bucket. So if you have some static website, you can push all your HTML files to this S3 bucket, then you can connect with CloudFront and Route Tree so that whenever a customer hits your website, the, all the pages will be routed from CloudFront and it will be connected to this S3 bucket and all your HTML files will be pulled and displayed in your in the customer browser. Whereas dynamic website relies on server-side processing, so it's not supported in S3 bucket. So static website, yeah, yes, you can do web hosting, static web hosting in the Amazon S3 bucket. So I've just explained you a few points. Let me show you quickly how to create a bucket. So I've lo already logged in to my AWS console 
So I'm going to click on services. I'm going to show you like where exactly this S3 service available in the services section. So you can go here, you can see storage and you can click on S3. Okay. So you can click on this S3. Already I've created a, an S3 bucket. So here my picture bucket interview dot. So I'm going to create one more for the demo purpose. I'm going to create one with the bucket name. I already told you that it should be unique. So I'm, I'm giving like my car picture interview dot. And this is my bucket name. Let's see it's unique. Yeah, it didn't complain at all. It should be a unique unique name. I'm going to press next. So you can give your manage system permissions. I'm going to I'm going to give uh, for everyone group right access to this bucket and create the bucket. Okay, so you can see like my my car picture it's empty it does not have any files here and you can you can change the permissions for example you created the bucket you uploaded a file but you want to give someone permission you can use permission tab to manage it and then I'm going to just show you like how to upload a file so I'm going to upload this test resume for the demo purpose I'm going to say click OK so I'm going to just give grant read permission to this object and then upload it's getting uploaded now so I'm going to click on the file Yes, next and next upload. So, my, so I'm going to click on this. You can see a test resume the doc. So it's already been uploaded. And you can also delete the file, delete the bucket as well. Okay. So this is my this is the agenda I had. Like I want to explain high level what is S3 bucket give some few points and I didn't understand like make you understand like why do we need s3 bucket at all and what are the few like scenarios or requirements where we need s3 bucket hope this video is useful thank you for your time and all the best for your career thank you